Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Good morning everybody, welcome to the Forex Daily Video Research, today the November 12th and today um, we will continue to track your currency. But in the begin beginning of the research some uh, organ organization moments that I would like to discuss with you. Uh, well, yesterday was some problems with the processing and uploading of our uh, video research on the YouTube website. So, and I have placed the uh, archive zip file on the um, forexpsami.com. Well, guys, I didn't know why there was have been some much problems with the looking and uh, extracting the file from the archive because I use just a simple Internet Explorer and uh, uh, WinRAR for making the archives. Uh, well, in general, uh, possibly we will start to uh, place uh, video research directly on the forexpsami.com uh, because of the problems that I have talked about on with the YouTube. Well, uh, the FPA administration is working on this problem, so <coughs> take some patience with this. Anyway, I uh, also place the text version of the video research in my weekly thread forexpsami.com, Simorton Analysis and Forex Pro Weekly thread. In this thread, every day I place the update uh, that is corresponding with the video research. So if you have some problems with the watching the video, uh, please visit the Forex Pro Weekly uh, thread uh, and read the context of the video file. So let's shift to the analysis directly. This is the daily chart of EuroFX. What we see right here. First of all, as you remember, this was the confluence support area with the monthly pivot point market erased it. Next area of confluence support around this 136.30, 136.63. Also take note that I used a bit lower Fibonacci support. In the previous research I used this reaction point, this low to this high for being 3 8 Fibonacci support. Now I use the major Fibonacci uh, reaction point from this low to this high. So this level a bit lower. Also this is the monthly pivot support one. What we see right now market also break it down without any res uh, respection of this area. This is a very bearish sign. But <coughs> in general uh, we still think uh, we still can treat this move as a retracement because uh, due to our weekly research I said that when the market accelerates from the uh, 618 expansion target to the 100% expansion and reaches weekly overbought it usually makes the 618 retracement from the racing swing up. So the racing swing up on the weekly chart from this low to this high and the 618 support is 132.32. So I can't exclude the moment that uh, market still can reach this area and this will be normal and, and uh, absolutely according to the weekly uptrend. And th at the same time on the daily time frame this swing down looks very bearish. Also take note from this pattern A, B, C top 100% 1.618 expansion 135.19 very close to the daily oversold level. Today's daily oversold around 134.91 right here. So I can exclude uh, the fact that market today can reach this area during the trading session. So let's take a look at the 4-hour chart. This 4-hour chart, uh, a lot of stuff here, so let me explain it to you. First of all, remember our reminders, our uh, previously A, B, C top pattern. Market hits 618 expansion, shows us the version risk that we uh, trying to trade yesterday. This was washing is, but market totally erased this pattern and renewed the lows during the recent trade action. Okay, now just below the market, 100% expansion from this ABC, 135.12, right here. Also, look at this recent ABC pattern, A, B, C tab. 100% expansion coincides with this larger ABC also around 135.12. 134.19 and 
is the daily level of oversold for today. So if market will reach this area, it will be a couple of uh, logical profit objectives and daily oversold. So uh, today also it's Friday, so maybe it makes sense to take some chips off the table if you are holding the long position and entering this bread and butter trade that we uh, trade in the beginning of the week. So this will be <coughs> nice uh, position for fixing some profit or reduce some uh, re reduced position because we can see some retracement to the upside because market very often uh, revisit the disrespected strong areas of resistance uh, support rather sorry support uh, this become the resistance which make hit the profit, logical profit objectives and revisit the disrespected previously strong area of resistance and continue move to the downside also just below the market you can see a couple of the targets well this more solid ABC move 1618 expansion 132 29 that is kind sides makes an agreement with the Fibonacci support that we discussed on the daily chart and the target of the possible retracement on the downside if market will break this area and move to deeply to the downside well this will be just another tune because this uh, will uh, stand under the question the uh, uptrend on the weekly time frame okay <clears throat> now also I want to show you some interesting moment look at this red line is MACD predictor indicator you can see that here trend turns bullish but market price action is not market continue moves to the downside this is this calls the negative dynamic pressure and usually when the market shows this kind of price action it means that previous lows around the point will be taken out by the price very often when market shows such kind of price action it makes a b c 100 percent expansion to the downside from the previous swing short swing up so that's why also i think that this uh, target may be hit today now i i offer you to uh, talk about uh, yesterday's head and shoulders trading and to look at this in details how we should act and uh, what has happened yesterday at all here I just want to show you this is ABC pattern is more clearly you can see it okay this is our yesterday head and shoulders and washing rings pattern I said that we can try to enter around 618 support from this low to this high okay because this was symmetrical head and shoulders and this is absolutely normal ratio for the formula of head and shoulders and I said if market starts to accelerate to the downside don't be long so what has happened 137.23 the Fibonacci support 618 support I entered in the market around 137.30 just above this area market trying to sh to bounce from this area trying to far form the head and shoulders but failed and moved below it so this is the destruction of the initial context for the trade if that happened if you are wrong fixed yeah just you should just exit when the your initial context was destroyed by the market don't try to hold this position in the with the hopes that market just should turn back and returns to the starts to form in the head and shoulders well just exit from the market personally I, I exit on this retracement to the upside and fixed six pips loss on this trade because I exit not on the maximum just during this retracement to the upside so my loss was not so much because this was acceleration to the downside and market destroyed the initial assumption about the possible head and shoulders pattern anyway if you even place the stops just below the head it's not really big loss was so this is normal because you are safe this money from this move to the downside and I think that market still can reach this area this target around 135.12 so take your risk reasonable, plan your uh, trades and exit if you are wrong.